once had a math teacher in third grade that told me uh, that uh, paddy wax, she told us to grab the paddy wax because some of us, that's what we'd be doing for the rest of our lives. Well, joke's on her. This really is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. Making burgers. Me and SpongeBob. Oh, just making the boygers. What are you doing today, bud? Mm, maybe this is 10. <laughs> nice separation. Today we're gonna make burgers. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we're grinding burgers. This is just brisket trim right here. We're pretty aggressive on the brisket trim. That's one gonna be what's gonna burn up in the smoker, what's not gonna cook out, what's not gonna render fat-wise. For not, not only just the look of the brisket, the feel of the brisket, and the overall finished product of the brisket, but just because we're reusing this, this trim is gonna go in for burgers. For a lot of places, they can use sausage. This is a pretty good fat ratio. We're using a kashi. It's pretty well marbled. You don't have to keep a ton of fat on there. You know, there's some real nice pieces. So right now, with the popularity of the burgers, we've had to, uh, We've had to outsource just a little bit of our brisket trim, and we're getting in uh, Heartland Akashi Ground Beef, the same company we get our briskets from. The, uh, the chubs we're gonna get mixed into to go into the, uh, the second grind of the brisket. And basically, the second grind is gonna help just redistribute the fat. It's gonna help take down the big pieces. You can kind of tell the difference in the piece size, you know, just it's gonna help break that down a little bit and help everything stick together a little bit better. Just as far as we're cooking, so it's not real grainy and falling apart on us. So basically, this is after the first grind. You can tell it's still a little coarse, not really what you find at your grocery store. And if you look right here, this is closer to like, you know, just what you'd pick up in the two or the uh, the meat section of your grocery store, just a little closer to that uh, consistency. Did you know that a pig is the closest thing in anatomy to a human? Oh yeah? So we've got some Burgesses, and basically we want these guys to be about a half pound. So we're gonna pop the old handy dandy scale out, and we've got our nice little a burger press, a burger press, and uh, basically we're just forming these guys right here until they're about a half pounder or so. You know, McDonald's has got the quarter pounder. We have uh, we have the old chud half pounder. Just pop it right in there. Burger making machine, that's what they say. Basically, the blurgers, how big we want them to be is, you know, how big you want a nice blurger. Three to four burgers to a brisket, I would say. Oh, you know, I'm just putting the blurgers into uh, individual packs. Uh, this is gonna help us out uh, when we come about mid-shift every day or in the morning when we're loading out for the truck, uh, just to kinda Make it even for each day, uh, just so our pars are correct on uh, on burgers. This week it's about 15. Per day? Per day, sir. So I'm here on the pit, we're cooking burgers. They have been trimmed from the brisket, they've been ground, we've made our mix, we've been, uh, we formed them put them in between the patty paper, put them on the uh, burger press, separated them out per day. Uh, today is Friday. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, is it two burgers? 14, 15, 16. So I've got 16 burgers. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do eight and eight. Eight and eight, the Cowboys record this year, eight and eight. Uh, so here we go, we're gonna open up the pit. Boom! 
sausages, briskets on there right now. We're cooking kind of low because we're still bringing the sausages up. We're going to put the burgers on low, still bring it up. We're working like 175 right now. We're gonna probably put it up to 225 with the burgers on, 250. These burgers are gonna get dusted in a two to one seasoning of coarse ground black pepper and kosher salt. We use a 16 mesh pepper. It may seem like a lot at first, but with the smoke and the sear, some of it is gonna come off and it's also gonna to help to form a really good crust on our burgers. And then we're going to take the burgers off after about 45 minutes. Rare, medium rare, kind of like 120. They're going to rest for a little bit, then we're going to put the plancha in the firebox, sear them off, cheese them, uh, and then we'll play one up. Alright, these burgers are good. 122 are exactly where we want them. Firmed up a little bit. Now it's time for the sear. After I have raked all the coals to the front of the firebox, I kind of jam this plancha in here and probably let it heat up for about five or ten minutes before I start putting burgers on there. As I'm laying the burgers down, I'm going to give them just a gentle pat to make sure they are making good contact with the plancha so we can get a really good sear on them. They really only need about a minute to a minute and a half per side because they are already smoked to temperature and the grill is screaming hot. So we really just want to give them a little bit of a sear on both sides to make sure they have a crust and just checking to make sure that they're not sticking and to make sure that they have that crust that we want before we go flipping them over. Because we hold the burgers in the warmer, sometimes our burger blend is a little fatty. So when we flip them, sometimes they can lose a little bit of structure. So, so we try to flip them over into our hand and just kind of slide them back onto the spatula because if we just kind of crudely flip them over, they can tend to break apart. This is just a way you can flip burgers and be just a little bit more gentle with them instead of just kind of, you know, turn them over and uh, throwing them all over the griddle. I'm also rotating these burgers back to front and front to back because the plancha cooks hotter back toward the fire than it does toward the door of the firebox. Two offset slices of American cheese give us Joshua Ozerski's eight points of cheese, blanketing our entire patty in ooey gooey goodness. The cheese only takes about 30 seconds to melt. We fit six burgers on a quarter sheet tray. Be sure not to knock a burger off the back of the plancha like I did right here. Down goes about a quart of diced white onion. We are going to spread that out into a fine layer and use it to scrape up all of the salt and pepper and beef juices and fat and all of the crusties and the fond, there's a culinary school word, uh, that is on the bottom of this cast iron plancha. We don't necessarily want to caramelize these, we just want to griddle them a little bit and bring out a little bit of sweetness. We are going to hold them in the warmer and they're going to cook down a little bit more when they're in there.
What kind of buns are those? Martin's Tio. How big is that? Hmm? How big is it? It's a four inch. It's a four inch. It's a four inch. It's a four inch bun.